What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video and this one is going to be for the Archer Diffuser. Now I've already unboxed this off camera because I wanted to take a look at it so I am familiar with it but it is a very good looking diffuser. It does come in two different colors so we're going to get to that in just a second here. Again by the company Archer and just like all my videos look in the description box below this video right below it. Click on show more. The description box will drop down and you will see the link for this exact same product. So if you are curious about it, check out the link below and you can go check it out and see how much it is, see more specs on it, etc. But as you can see, the box is about the size of my head here. Let's go ahead and get it out. Little instruction manual on the very bottom of it here. And what I like about it is it's not too large, so it can sit next to your nightstand and it wouldn't take up too much room. Again, not over the top big, about, again, the size of half my head now, but a beautiful brown wood pattern to it. Again, this is all plastic, but it has a nice color wood to it right there. And again, it also comes in a more natural color pattern as well. But it's not just this. It's the LED light around it, which is absolutely spot on fantastic. Again, the instruction manual there. And we will be trying this out, guys. I highly recommend distilled water or reverse osmosis water. If you have very soft water, then you can use it. But here in California, we have very hard water, which creates mineral deposits, which clogs up little filters and pumps and all sorts of stuff. So I would recommend distilled water, pick a jug up, sparklets, arrowhead, whatever, for about $1.89. That'll last you a long time. The diffuser does not come with any oil drops or anything like that, but it does come with a little pour thing here. Fill up your water and you can pour it in like that or just take the jug like I do, fill it up like that and a nice plug here. Let's go ahead and see what the length of the cord is, just in case you are curious, if you wanna run it to an outlet and back. I am about 5'9", and that's a little bit longer than my wingspan. So you're looking at estimated about maybe five feet, 11, six foot, probably six foot plug. And if you're curious, the output is 24 volt, 0.6 amp, input 100 through 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz, 0.35 amp max, but again, output 24 volt, 0.6 amps. Fantastic. You can go ahead and plug that on in the bottom here, and then what you do is you have that sitting right there. It does have some soft pads on the bottom of it here, 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 and here, and with your little motor right there. You do have some switches here on the back, which has a couple time frames, one hour, three hours, six hours on, and then you have the light mist, and you can actually have just the LED light on. You could have the LED light on with the mist, or just the mist, no LED lights. So there are some really cool options here. So without further ado, let's plug this on in, dump some water on in it, and get this thing going. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, is just lift that bad boy on up, and they probably have a fill line, or if it says fill, you would have to read the instruction manual. I'm not too big on instructions, but we'll just go ahead and put a little bit in here because, again, this is just for review purposes until we transport it. Probably bedside location of your choice. So. Again, distill, make sure it says distill, that sparklets means there's no hard minerals in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit the on button here, which is right here. And we have a very subtle green LED light here, but we will need to go ahead and hit that light button. The little subtle LED light was on the back. It's coming out. Let me go ahead and move over to the side so it's a little darker background, as you can see here. That is shooting up about one foot or so. Very nice, very subtle. And let's go ahead and cut the light so you guys can see. So as I'm looking down into the tube here, the LED light is right here and it's all around here. Color changing right now, it's blue and it does, it's going to a darker, really rich blue here. Let me cut the lights here for you guys. As we can see, they're spot on now. The camera's gonna mess around with the contrast a little bit, but right now is a pinkish purple. And as we can see here, it also is on top right there. So the LED light comes right out of the spout here and then the ring all the way around it. Spot on, fantastic guys, as we got a nice beautiful red there and it cycles through the different colors. Now there is the option of, there's yellow there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it a little bit dark here just so you guys can see this. There is the option again for the light. Let's go ahead and hit that light. So right now I hit the light button and it looks like the green is staying constant. 
Let's go ahead and hit the button one more time as it goes back to red and let's see if that stays constant. Okay, so it looks like it's staying constant and then you could dim it as well. So we went red dim, we're to a yellow and then we go a dim, we're to a green and then a dim, we're to a blue and then a dim, and we're to a dark blue and a dim, and we're to a purple and a dim, and then we're to an aqua and a dim, and then we're off. So you gotta cycle them all the way through. So you can have just one color on, you can have a little bit dimmer if you want to, or the first time you hit the button, this should cycle through the colors automatically. Spot on, fantastic guys. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And let's go ahead and hit the mist here. And that should, so now the mist has gone over to three hours. It was on one hour, now it's on three hours. Now it's on six hours. Now it says on here. Let's go ahead and see it's still going up. I wanna make sure that we have the option of no mist, okay, yep. Yeah. So there's no mist at all. So you can have it constantly on, not for a time frame. So it's one hour, three hours, or six hours, or constantly on, or right now there is absolutely no mist coming out. So we can have just the LED light on, or let's go ahead and turn back the mist back on as it's coming back up now. And let's try to just hold down the light button so we don't have to cycle through, okay. You hold down the button, it turns off. So now we have just the mist on, no light, but I kind of like it with the light on like that. So you have different options. Again, like I mentioned, just the mist on, no light, the light and mist on, or just the light on, no mist. Fantastic, guys. Let's go ahead and remove that and take a little look-see here. As we can see, we do have to be a little careful. It is, the motor's kind of shooting it up there, but that is a nice glow there. We'll put that top back on. Fantastic. That's a great product, guys. Put whatever oil you want of your choice right in the water right here. Turn it on and have a nice aromic, you know, eucalyptus or anything like that. Have a little cherry, have a little natural flower, something like that. Anyway, guys, a great, great product. So, read through your instruction manual or just watch the video again if you wanna know all about this bad boy. Get your hands on it in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching the review. And if you do want to subscribe to the channel, that's much appreciative because I got a lot more products in the books. Check out the channel, a lot of DIY projects, not just product reviews, unboxings. We got projects, we got computer fixes, iPhone fixes, you name it, we got it. Check it out. See you guys on the next one. My name's Chris. Bye-bye. And lastly, guys, before I do forget, this thing is dead silent. It makes a very, very little noise. If this was on your bedside table, I don't even know if you guys would hear it. It's spot on fantastic. Mm -hmm.